There, it's Rob Fraser here, and the purpose of this video is however you find it, found it, uh, you came across it on YouTube, um, we connected on social media, uh, you're getting it in an email, regardless, I just wanted to film this short video, hopefully I'll keep it short, uh, basically to introduce to you who I am, basically. Um, I seen a guy do this on, we connected on Facebook, and he sent me a, a get to know me video, and I thought that was a great idea. Because a lot of times, and I'm sure you can relate, we connect with people, well, we friend somebody on Facebook or LinkedIn or wherever, and we don't really take it from there. We just connect just to connect. Or, you know, you get those people out there who connect just to, you know, spam your inbox a little bit later on. But regardless, uh, this is not what I'm doing. This right here is just to let you know who I am, uh, and I'll try to keep it short. And I'll try to include everything. Uh, long story short, I'm 33 years old. I know I've got the little baby face going. Uh, been divorced. Uh, I spent 12 years in the Marines. Um, I've got four kids with the ex-wife. Uh, two boys were hers biologically. And then uh, I have two girls with her. Uh, they are 18, 16. Um, and the girls are 10 and 6. For the past few years, it's been kind of tumultuous in my own life. Uh, just simply because... We got divorced when I was about nine years. Well, we started having real rocky marriage about nine years in the Marines. Um, like I said, I served 12 years. And uh, my last four years were real rough. I was a Marine Corps drill instructor. Uh, and drill instructor duty was just real bad on the family. And, you know, it just whatever stresses you have in a relationship, you do... A duty such as drill instructor duty and it increases them uh, at least a hundredfold. Um, in the past few years, I've been trying to work with the, the ex-wife because we have a very strained relationship in which, you know, it's been about three three years since I actually see my kids. So um, it's a good thing and a bad thing. Uh, it's a bad thing because I, I miss them every day, but it's a good thing because it led me down the road of personal development. Uh, when I first got out of the Marines, I was real angry, real bitter. Actually, on my way out, I was just a real mean, bitter person. And I have got pushed, if you will, into wanting to make money online just simply because of the last time I visited my daughter. Uh, I virtually broke my heart when, you know, I had to come back because she moved the kids to Florida, and I was in California. I still am in California. But she moved the kids to Florida, and I went out there to visit one time, and basically not being able to tell her when's the next time I can come visit, just simply because I don't know what my schedule is. And uh, ever since then, I've just basically just been on this mission to become independent uh, on my own. Um and so, basically, got out of Marine Corps, made every wrong decision. Um, I didn't have a plan. You know, my truck got repoed. My motorcycle got repoed. You know, just kind of, long story short, I hit rock bottom absolute nothing three times. Um, you know, when I got divorced, lost a house, obviously, all the furniture, kids, real strained relationship with them. Um and then a couple times, uh, you know, afterwards, been in a couple other uh, relationships, you know, building up again, lost everything. And then now here I am again, uh, working on uh, myself as well. It really affected my confidence, self-esteem, you know, especially as being a guy, being a, you know, the breadwinner and all this stuff to go down to absolute nothing. And, um, you know, once I did, got out of Marine Corps, absolute nothing again. Uh, and... You know, when I first got out, you know, I tried internet marketing full time. Didn't work, obviously, because of the learning curve. And, uh, you know, so I had to get a steady job. Uh, finally, I uh, moved in with a lady and I got a job. Um, basically, I didn't have a car, but I was walking to work, stuffing vending machines uh, for about 60 hours a week. Walking home, finally got the GI Bill. So I could go to school. Um, basically, you know, one of the benefits we get paid to go to school on a GI Bill. Uh, it's anywhere from nine hundred to two grand a month. 
So why not take advantage of that? Uh, so finally got into school. Um, and I was working that part-time job or working that overtime job. I finally got – trying to keep the story in the flow here. I finally got a source of income uh, through that job. And from that, I was able to buy another car, able to get back up on child support, um, able to get things back together. And since then, um, long story short, I was able to quit the job. I established two other businesses on the side. I do internet marketing, and I also do internet marketing for the San Diego Investment Club. So if you're in the San Diego area, um, you know, it's a real estate investing uh, investment club. And of course, people are texting me now, um, and I'm sweating too. <laughs> Uh, but basically just kind of been through a lot of stuff and, you know, I'm still, you know, I'm not rolling in the dough and, you know, as successful as I want to be because, you know, there's still a number of things I want to do. Um, you know, the first important thing is get back in my kid's life and be a, a father, uh, again. And, you know, that pushed me to st start establishing my own businesses, um, and so right now I'm going to school full time using a GI Bill and I created myself in some income on the side on the Internet um, as well, which basically right sided me that stopped the bleeding, if you will. Uh, I wasn't going any more into debt. I was able to, you know, come back. And so now I get a car and, you know, uh, things are going good. So basically that's where I am. Um, I'm into health and fitness. I like doing yoga, lifting weights, running. Uh, I mountain bike sometimes, try to at least, and, uh, you know, I'm in, in internet marketing, connecting, um, with people, building my network. So I think I pretty much covered everything. Um, and you know, I did, uh, the lady I moved in with, uh, we, we are, uh, uh, getting serious and taking the next step in our relationship as well. So, uh, just putting that out there, hopefully get some value out of this, um, Hopefully it let you know who I am and I look forward to getting to know you a little bit better. Thanks for listening.